Initially, when I was planning the Nutrifor website, I actually wanted to include a satiety index as part of the information for each food. And I spent a fair bit of time looking for mathematical formulas for calculating a satiety index, meaning how full a food makes you. And what I learned is that satiety is extraordinarily complex. There is no mathematical formula to calculate it reliably. So for example, you'll often hear quoted that potatoes are the most satiating food, but that's plain potatoes, boiled or baked. If you add butter or sour cream or salt, it doesn't fill you up as much. It's not as satiating. Crazy, right? So in general, foods with high water content, high fiber and high protein are more satiating. Carbs and fat tend to balance each other out in the satiety index formula. So a food will be more satiating if it's just carbs or just fat, but then we're not talking about a balanced meal or a balanced diet anymore. And studies show that eating outside of the accepted macronutrient distribution ranges, which is the definition of a balanced diet, leads to worse health outcomes. Why I'm not personally a big fan of macronutrient manipulation diets. But of course, if that's your jam, I mean, to each their own. Meeting our nutritional needs from the foods we eat, which is the whole concept of Nutrivore, is easier in the context of balanced macronutrients. So when it comes to a satiety index, these are not reliable measurements because you almost never eat just one food at a time. You're gonna add butter or sour cream or salt or all of the above to your potato. So what's more important to know about satiety is the difference between whole and minimally processed foods and ultra processed foods. Ultra processed foods are ones made up of a lot of ingredients that are isolated from foods. Foods like pizza, cookies, cake, crackers, white bread, a lot of uh, pasta noodles, convenient tasty foods that are also cheaper than whole foods. Ultra processed foods are not as satiating. There was a really interesting study done out of Professor Kevin Hall's lab a few years ago where study participants spent two weeks on a diet where 83% of their calories came from ultra processed foods versus two weeks where 83% of their calories came from whole foods. And each participant did both arms of the study, but it was random what order they did it in. While on the ultra processed arm of the study, they ate 500 calories more and gained weight compared to the whole foods arm of the study where they lost weight. And the diets were matched for macronutrients, for fiber, for sugar, for salt. It's just that people ate more food when they ate ultra processed foods because those foods didn't fill them up as much or for as long. And that's the only thing I recommend paying attention to when it comes to satiety, choosing more whole foods. It just so happens that that's beneficial in a bunch of different ways.